The flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, the NDC, John Mahama, has reiterated his intentions to reduce the Hajj performance fee should he emerge victorious in the 2024 general elections. According to him, the recent fee of 75,000 Ghana cities has prevented several Muslims from performing the pilgrimage. Channel One News' Fauzu Masawudu was on a tour with the NDC flag bearer and has compiled this report. The horrendous Ayawasu West were going by election, which led to the incumbent member of parliament, Lydia Al Hassan's first entry to the House of Legislature in 2019, following the demise of former MP Emmanuel Ejako, has left many battling various degrees of injuries. Despite a probe into the incident, concerns loom large over the government's failure to implement recommendations by the Commission of Inquiry. Flag bearer of the National Democratic Congress, John Mahama, during his visits to one of the victims, pledged to, among other things, ensure the provision of justice for persons affected by the violence. We know that after Iwasu West Wagon, a commission of inquiry was set up and the commission made some investigations and recommendations. It identified those who were responsible for what happened at Iwasu West Wagon and asked that they be sanctioned. Unfortunately, this government has refused to take any action against those who were responsible for the harm that has been caused to our brother. And I have assured him that when we come, justice will be done. And whoever were involved in that unfortunate incident will be brought to book and made to face justice for what they have done to him. Addressing the Muslim community in Fadama, Accra, John Mahama reiterated its intention to reduce the existing harsh performance fee of 75,000 Ghana cities to increase the participatory rates in the holy pilgrimage. In 2016, the last Hajj that was performed under my administration, the fare was 11,900 cities. Today, the fare is 75,000 cities. In all cities, 75 million cities. And so there are many people who have the intention to go to Mecca, but unfortunately, because of the very high Hajj fare, they are unable to do so. And so I've made a promise that when the NDC government comes into power, we are going to do everything to reduce the fare drastically so that as many people as want to go and perform the Hajj will be able to do so. The NDC flag bearer also paid a curtsy visit to the national chief imam, Sheikh Nuhu Osman Sharubutu, as part of the Eid al Hada celebrations. Traditionally, every year, I come to uh, exchange greetings with my father, the national chief imam. Um, I sent him a cow to enjoy the salah, and so I came to find out how, you know, his um, uh, salah had been. Uh, aside from that, recently I heard he was not feeling too well. I'm happy to come and see that he's in very good health. And I want to thank him for the prayers that he has been saying for me and to ask him to continue to pray for me and my party, the NDC. We know that this year is an election year and we're praying that God should let us conduct this election peacefully without any disturbances, without any violence. And may Ghana continue to prosper and be peaceful before, during, and after the election. The infamous Ayawaso West Wogon by election violence sits atop issues of security relating to elections in Ghana. For flag bearer of the NDC, John Dramani Mahama, his resolve to ensuring justice for victims of this violence is non negotiable. Reporting for Channel One News, Fauzu Masaudu, Accra.